Hi folks, well you're very welcome back now to another uh, Celtic Links tutorial and today we're going to be looking at a lovely little beginner poker called the Kerry Poker. Now by the way this is also widely known as Peg Ryan's Poker and of course this has been transcribed in thousands of books around the world. Now as usual of course in uh, these tutorials I'm going to be taking you through the right hand separately, the left hand separately, how to put both hands together and then of course we're going to actually have a discussion about fingering and appropriate fingering that might be used. Um, as usual uh, the score is printed and of course if you want to pick up the score uh, you might just download it from the link below. Okay so without further ado uh, let's get on with the tutorial. Okay so just before we get into the tutorial uh, just a few words on the sheet music for those who like to read the sheet music. So the tune here is written in the key of G major. Now sometimes you might find in books that it's also written in D major. That's something else we can look at of course in Irish music that as you get a bit more experience that you can transpose tunes from one key to another. Uh, but that will come later on in other discussions. But today it's in the key of G. It is in written in 4-4 four, four time which means 4 beats to the bar. And of course you'll see on the score that I've documented most of the fingering and of course fingering we will be discussing later on in the tutorial itself. Um, also note that we were only looking at maybe three chords for this tune, uh, the G, the C and the D. Okay, so just in the usual idiom of Irish music, uh, generally the pieces are uh, broken down to an A and a B section. And what I'll do is basically we'll separate the A from the B section. So I'll just play the A section for you now and I'll come back and discuss that, how I'm playing it. Okay, so here we go. Here's the A section. So... So to start off this tune basically I've identified straight away the notes, the range of notes that I want in the right hand and straight away when I put my hand onto the accord you know it is always a good idea to cup your hands like this and I put my hand on the B here and the D here and this is the range of notes I want for this tune so my hand knows immediately that I'm going to be hitting this note with my fifth finger and this with my lower and this is always a very good uh, uh, first start or point to watch out because you don't run into any traps straight away as you're starting off as a beginner and uh, because generally speaking if you start off with your you know let's say for instance that you start like this your hands are already cupped you're missing this note you need to move your hand so we want going through the piece of music as less movement as possible so what I've done is I've put my fingers like this my B and my B and I just played the notes for here and I call them as we go along and we go up for one two three Four. So we've got one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. And basically for the notation of that, that, that the tune really, hold, this whole tune consists of crotchets and minims. And what I've also done there basically is, I've also watched then for the phrasing of it in relation to the bellows then going out. So what I've actually done in this tune, I'll play it one last time. I've actually, for the first four bars, I've actually brought the bellows out. And for the next four bars, I've brought the bellows back in again. Again, if I find I want to close it back a bit. Now remember, Depending on the size of accordion you have, this is a 96 bass accordion, if you have a 48 bass or a 72 bass or even a less buttons, don't worry too much about it. All that technical stuff we can fix up in lessons as we go through the channel here and other tutorials. Okay, so let's just for the last, let's have a look at the right hand again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two, 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 three, four, and off then very nice, and that should bring you through section A. Okay. Great, well done. Okay, so let's get on now and have a look at section B. Okay, so of course at the end of section A we finished up on a G note here and of course our thumb was on it and I'm going to just line my hand up here just to get uh, the second bar ready and I'm going to make sure I just have my bellows, just going to push it in a little bit. So 
I'll have that there. My left hand, of course, just let it sit there on the base. Don't worry too much about it. It can find its own thing to do. You don't have to play the left hand yet. Anyway, so without further ado, I'm going to start on my B note here. And after four, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. 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 Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then off. Very good. Now we'll have a look at that again. Now just push my bellows in again. Very good. Line my hand up, and I'll play it a bit slower. There is an issue you're going to find out when you come to the end of bar 12. We'll have a look at that in discussion, uh, just as I play it through this time. And how do you get back up from the low D to the B here? We'll have a look at that as I go through it. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two. Bring your two over. Keep going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now just here, I have my bellows out. And what I want to do now is basically I want to get back to this B note here. So what I'm going to do is maybe just quickly take my hand up onto my B and don't move your bellows and go two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and push my bellows in. Now remember, um, this tutorial is that is for people who have already started to play the accordion but some of the um, the issues that people have with starting to play the accordion is that the bellows tends to run away in them remember your left hand here is to hold this bellows and sometimes it's important to take your hand off notes when their their time is up because if you keep the hand up the bellows keeps falling out <laughs> and you, you, you lose a bit of control of it so we'll have a look we'll come back on top of this bellows control again uh, as we get to playing the whole tune but let me just go through that that uh, second part again after four, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stop lift. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. and off very good well done so a um, few little things to watch as you're playing these notes in the, the 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 second part there just on the end of bar 12 but just persevere when you get you get on with that okay so let's let's try and put the whole tune together and again i'll take it very slowly and i'll count it through and i may stop if i have any issues to discuss going through it but i like to get through the whole whole um the whole um 16 bars first and then i might come back again and repeat so let's go. So remember, starting off, bellows in, lovely, very good. Hand set up here, lovely, my B and my D, <laughs> we're ready to go. So one, two, three, four. 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 And bellows in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stop, wait. Second half starting. Third finger in your B note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Stop, wait, think. Hand onto your B note. In you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hand off nicely. Bellows in. Very good. You don't need to make any noise in that regard. Okay, very good. That's really good. I might just go through that again. So, things to remember here, basically, there's a lot going on as you take up... Uh, the instrument apart from the fact that you have to wear it and it has to sit properly on you and that your right hand has to maneuver right over the nose the left hand has to stay still here but also you have to watch your bellows 
the control of it, how far do you pull it out, when do you pull it back in. In this regard, on relation to the ballast, we're going four bars out, four bars in, four bars out and four bars back in again. And then of course the most important thing to do is apart from your finger is to remember that um, to wait and decide on the finger you need and then go and play that, that, that finger then, okay? So I'll do that again. And then of course then it, it may be a bit disjunctive, but by and large then after a few minutes practice, you'll be able to put the whole tune together. So just one final time, let me take you through that whole uh, 16 bars. So remember, get my setup, bellows in, push it in, very good. And set up for my B and my D. Let my left hand just sit there. It'll do its own thing. Just don't play anything wrong. Okay. So out before one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Just wait a minute. Get your finger ready. Second half. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just wait a minute now. Up you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four, and wait, and up, and if you want to push the bellows in, lovely stuff. So now you've done that piece uh, really well, uh, we'll come back now in the next session and we'll have a look at the left hand. Great, so well done on getting all that right hand together. And of course, now it's time to come to the left hand. The people love this session. So I was saying to people, look at it. Uh, Bear with us. I know some people say, oh my God, he's going to play the left hand. And I'll tell you some stories about as I went through as a musician working for her for many years, when people saw a piano recording coming in to play with Tim Whist, like, <laughs> but it's, a, it's a discussion for another day. We will have those chats as we go along down through the channel. Uh, what I will say today in the left hand is number one, do play it. Absolutely. Um, thanks be to God, we, if you have two hands, the accordion is the right hand 11. I've also noticed sometimes people take up the piano accordion and for whatever reason they just play the right hand. Maybe they never learned the accordion, they were a keyboard player and decided just to play the right hand. Or maybe some people have a very good right hand and not so good left hand. I think it's good to be diligent with both hands. And uh, the left hand will take work, there's no doubt about it, because sometimes people see the left hand, or oh, maybe it's a it's combine harvester coming in, and say, oh my God, the noise of this thing coming in, Jesus Christ, and the, they just say, oh, just take that left hand off. But, I would say to you, uh, as, as these tutorials are for a beginnerish level, bear with it. The accordion has a right and left, and they're there for a reason, so do play them. If you just choose not to play them, that's your own business. But I will uh, give you some advice that I've learned along the way when to play the left hand. And so in this tune, as we get into this tune, we're only going to identify three bases. Now, I put my left hand into the accordion. Remember that the strap here on the left hand shouldn't be too loose and shouldn't be too tight. Now, it shouldn't be that tight that it's cutting off the, your, your blood supply and you're going purple. Um, but it should be that, you know, see my wrist in here, it's very tight. Because remember, um, propping up the accordion on you is your straps, your back strap, your tie here, and your tie here, and your left hand. All this is helping to keep this instrument on you because you obviously have to wear it. So as I push, uh, my hand and now I am aware that this tutorial is for some people who are already playing the accordion and maybe you're already playing polkas and so forth and jigs and reels and maybe you might just look in at this on this tutorial for some maybe some you know bits of information you might say oh I never taught that and I'll take that on board and so forth so as I'm going to put my hand in my hand is going to rest on uh, the C base and in here on the C base you generally will find on accordions you'll find a little dint on the hole you might have found it already it's a C that's called C and this is called your major row I go up to my G bass, G and G major, and then I go straight up to my D bass, D and D major. So remember, that's all we want in this tune. Put my hand, and sometimes, so put your hand in, don't play anything, just feel around, see in the center of the accordion, can you find this little button here? Might have a mark on it or a rough mark on it, just to identify where C is. And bear in mind, we'll have other tutorials coming down in the channel to explain all this later on. But for today, just say I've got my C, I've got my C major row, straight up, I've got my G, I've got my G major, I've got my D and my D major. And I'm just doing that without playing the accordion, just 
you know, up and down, just finding my way. Because you have to learn this blind, remember. Uh, I, I tried to look in the mirror when I was learning, but it was putting me off, so I just learned the spacings. Anyway, so with that, as we get into playing it, basically, I just put my bellows in, I'm gonna play it now. And one thing I will ask you as you play this is to try and keep the basses very short uh, and precise, not to be making mistakes. So I'm gonna play it here, as, and then I'll come back and explain it. So as I play this bass, I'm gonna play C, T major, and play it a couple of times. This is the sound I'm looking for. Short, snappy basses. I move. Nice and short. I move. And I wait, I go back. Lovely. This is the sound I'm looking for on my left hand. I really am looking for what you more, you might call it a bit of staccato if you are used to reading the music and, and know the language of maybe the classical music. Don't worry, but short and snappy, crisp would be a good word. We really, on the traditional music, uh, do not really want the bass to be sounding like this. Now, not only is that going to drown out my right hand, but I've also found my, my balance is out here somewhere nearly in the other room and I have to drag it back in. So this is where I'm saying that when you get onto the, and I'll push my balance in, lovely. When you get onto the left hand, it will take a bit of time and perseverance uh, to work with it and do spend a bit of time. So you're looking for uh, crisp bass work and really, so don't be afraid, you're only beginning, don't be afraid to play the bass. So, um, no, no. Not really working yet. Oh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a nice, crisp bass. I don't want to dwell too much on it. I want the basses to breathe between one another. I want to move up. Don't, if you want to stop, get your hand position. Nice. In that one there. And then nice up you go again into your D bass. And you're getting a nice sound and they're not overlapping into one another which is really nice and that's going to work out really well when you find you're going to put this with your tune as you put the two hands together so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to play it very straightforward uh too and then of course in the next in the next chapter coming down we'll be looking at how you actually articulate this bass uh, work as we get into it. But let me just play these basses for you as they are documented in the whole tune. So I just push in my air button here and I'll start and I go from bar one and we start. After four, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three four wait in we go one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four lovely and that's your a section done now pretty much when you've done all that you really have done your b section as well so because there's only three bases so what i'll do is now basically i'm going to play the whole 16 bars and if you want if you have the accord in your lap you can pick up and play along with me i'll count you in in four bars and we go right to the very end okay so one two three four so one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four so change in one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four into the second half and out we go again one two three four one c bass three four g coming d for two and c two three four and g one two three four c two three four and g and D, and C, and G, four. Lovely, very good. Now I think you're getting the hang of it now. Bass, remember, it's three bases. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Very good. 
Well done. So let's have a look at both hands uh, being put together. Now remember, uh, this is pretty tricky. I know you're only beginners, so have a bit of patience because remember when you're playing your right hand, 100% of your brain is focusing on that. And when you're playing your left hand on its own, 100% of your brain. But now you've got two hands, so 50% of your brain is on each hand. So there may be some casualties, but if you take your time, grin and bear it, it'll come together very nicely. You don't have to worry about articulation. All we just really, it's all about mechanics at this stage, just pressing notes to get the actual tune played. And then that can be refined much later on through, uh, through your practice and with separate tutorials here at, at the Celtic Links. Okay, so here we go. So hand set up, left hand is set up. My bass is just pulled in a bit. Okay. And I'll do it very slowly. So here we go. Remember, uh, the left hand is going one, two, three, four, and all the bases, the C, the G, the D bass. So out before one, two, three, four. So we got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna stop there basically. And I'm gonna go back and try that again. Because it is tricky when you start to put them together. And I'll just play it a bit even a bit slower for you, okay? Remember, on the count of one, two, three, and four, on the bass you have what you would know this is called the solo row, and you have your major row coming in on two. So on two and four you have your major row here, and on one and three you have this, this your solo row here, a C, G, or D. So let's get started again. Hand set up, hand set up, bellows in, lovely stuff. And after four, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Back to your B in your right with your G in the left. One, two, three, four. Now wait, I'm gonna take my bellows in this time now, just because I'm playing the, the left hand. There's a lot of air being used up. I wait, don't move. I want onto my third bar, so I go one, two, up your D bass, three, four, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, lovely. Now I'm gonna carry on into bar five, and here I go, I have to reset up to my G bass weight, I've got my fifth finger for my B note, and here we go, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and off, lovely. When the note value has expired, just take your hand off the keyboard, right hand and left hand as well. So you don't get the sound being dragged in and all that stuff. And if you have to pull your bellows in, pull it in. Lovely stuff. Now, that's really good. Okay, let me go through that once more. I'm gonna play the whole eight bars uh, right to um, the G note we just finished on there. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Wait, get set up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hands off and then put your bellows in. Lovely stuff, well done, that's great. So remember, you can go back and forth all the video a few times just to get that. You may not get it sounding like this because there's a lot going on, but trust me, if you're part of it, you will get it. Great, let's have a look now and move on to part two, A to B section, okay? So again, same principles apply, bellows in. Get your hands sorted out. Remember, you're starting on a B note. This is bar nine we're on now. And get my bass, pre tink it. Oh, have my bass here. So I'm coming from here and I go up before one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And wait a minute now, gonna go in on my G note. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is a tricky part, remember on the right hand, stop for a minute, wait and think. Get my G bass ready, up to my B note. Here we go, and we're going out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Lovely, very good, great. Okay, so I'm going to try that again. I'm gonna pull my bass in now, push it in, that's it. Here we go. 
and I go again and we're going from bar nine lovely so after four one two three four so one two three four C bass coming one two three four and here we go G bass one two three four one two three four wait one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four excellent stuff really well done great well done and delighted to see that you're you're still with me so far and you're persevering well just to wrap up the tutorial i'm just going to play the tutorial um maybe with both hands together and maybe at a slow tempo remember if you're playing in sessions or going into play in sessions you want to play in a what they call a slow session and uh, don't be pushed into uh, people that, oh you need to play that faster remember uh, technique form posture phrasing bellows control fingering a litany of stuff we're going to be getting into as we get down the line and discussing the channel here all has to be learned and mastered before you get the speed up it's like driving a car folks you don't give a car to a young person say right off you go now remember the speed lift 120 kilometers an hour <laughs> you put, you do not i hope not anyway you put them out in the backyard and say right there's reverse oh my god don't forget if you're going reverse <laughs> you're going reverse first so remember so to keep that principle take it slow and easy and if you keep that in mind don't be pressurized in this channel we'll bring you to and we'll guide you to the levels i experienced all this and they said why can jerry not that speed because my mother said because he's not able to and that's the answer he will be able to next year please god when you want it at that speed and i remember playing for kaylee can you go any faster no not yet <laughs> so don't be worried so they played at the speed i was able to play anyway look at uh, let me play to the tune now for you at a slow pace and i'll play the whole thing so one two three four 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 two three four one 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 two three four and off now one thing you probably would have spotted there is that i did actually do four bars out four bars in four bars out four bars in like i did when i was playing the right hand but do bear in mind if you find that the accord because you're only learning to play the bellows and as you're playing the left hand it uses up more air if you do find that your hand is out here in alaska bear in mind you can do it two bars out two bars out two bars out two bars in and so forth so i hope that helps you remember that's only the bare bones of putting the tune there's lots more to discuss in lessons to come down the road but i hope that gives you some insight into uh, starting to play a little polka on the accordion with your correct fingering, uh, your left hand, putting both hands together, getting a sense of timing about it, and that will help you. And if you can put a bit of practice on that together, and hopefully that will help you to get this tune if you haven't heard of it before. And maybe some of the, uh, the traits you're taking this tune, you can put into some tunes you're playing yourself. So best of luck with that, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.